are literally dozens of new technologies that have arrived in cars over the last decade or so, and several more arrive every year. But which ones do you really care about? I'm Brian Cooley with the Top 5. J.D. Power asked consumers about 59 car tech features, ranging from those involved in energy efficiency to in-cabin entertainment. We've ranked the top five responses based on how many people selected the technology for their shortlist. Number five, self-healing paint, 25%. There's really no such thing as self-healing paint. There is Nissan's Scratch Shield, but that only smooths out very minor scrapes in the clear coat only, not the paint. But we so hate the expensive, time-consuming results of a dent or scratch that we keep on dreaming. Number four, a rear camera with the display in the mirror, 30%. Not just a rear cam, but one that has a little tiny display. At least it's up where you should be looking when backing, instead of looking down. Number three, collision mitigating braking, 30%. This is one of the most gettable of the early self-driving technologies, the one that will jump on the brakes when you forget to. Any of you think this might be driven by the guilt people feel about staring down at their phones in traffic? Number two is night vision technology, 33%. Here's an odd one, since so few people have ever tried it. Apparently, not enough to know that, in my experience, it often sucks. But we love anything with the phrase night vision in it. Before I get you to the number one technology we want in cars, here are the ones we want the least. Like health and wellness technology, gesture control, and haptic feedback screens. Bless your hearts, you're right on the money there. Interestingly, missing from the top ranks of what we do want are hybrid technology and the latest smartphone integration, like Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Maybe they just need some time. The number one technology you say you want in a car is blind spot tech, 40%. The automotive blind spot, back over there, is one we know we need help with. And they're only getting worse because cars keep bulking up more and more like fortresses on wheels. Who says you gotta join the army to drive a tank? More top five lists await the car lover. Go to CNETOnCars.com, click on top five.